I am Asian. I was born in Washington, D.C., and I've been growing up here in Howard County. My mom is a Japanese immigrant, and my dad's from Massachusetts. I used to feel sort of stuck in the middle. In elementary school, I ate lunch with all the other Asian girls, and I would boast about how awesome it was to be to be Asian and to be part of a group. However, other kids would think and say to me, well, Casey, you aren't really Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Japanese, and I'm American, too. I'm Asian. I was born in Howard County. My mom is descendants from Poland and Hungary, and my dad is a Cambodian immigrant who fled war, receiving asylum in the U.S., their family having nothing but the clothes on their back, a seven-person family living in a one-bedroom apartment. My dad and his siblings all worked multiple jobs throughout middle and high school to provide for their family. They worked hard, really hard, so that they could give me the opportunities that I have today. I am proud of my Asian heritage. Like Casey, I'm Asian, but I'm Cambodian, and I'm American too. I am Asian. I'm the daughter of an Indian mother and a Caucasian father. I was adopted at only three years old in India. I am the first generation. I was given the chance of a new life when I was found abandoned on the side of the road. I lived in a diverse house with an older sister who was born in America. I had the challenges of dealing with the questions of where I was and where my place was in Howard County. I had a very diverse family from my father's side and my mother's side. Being comfortable with many different cultures and ethnicities around me, from family, friends, and to my parents, relatives. Assuming everyone understands what it means to be Asian. I would be in school thinking everyone understands that I am Indian and South Asian, having to try and make kids believe me that I was Asian. Having been looked down at when I would deal with the stereotypes of how my food would look and smell at lunch, saying you, you don't look Indian means I'm not. I went through many things and I could barely remember before I even came to America. I'm proud of my Indian heritage, the colors, the food, and the people. My name is Mandira Heber. I am proud Asian and I'm American too. We are Asian. We are the children of a Korean immigrant and a Chinese first gen. Our grandfather came to America with about $100 in today's money. Our grandmother fled to escape the communist regime. Through sheer hard work, they were able to raise three kids. Our Korean grandparents came to give our mom and her siblings an equal opportunity in America. Our grandfather had to work three jobs. Growing up, we had a hard time fitting in because we looked different. We were shorter, had flatter faces, and smaller eyes. A few instances, there were kids who even called us chinks. But after hearing our grandparents' stories, we felt proud we came from a family who, through sheer hard work, eventually lived the American dream, and we didn't care what people said to us. Without them, we wouldn't be in this country today. We are Asian and we are Americans too. I'm a Chinese American living in Western Howard County. In my majority white area, I often found myself the only person of my ethnicity in the classroom. I felt lonely knowing that not a lot of people shared my mother tongue or my culture. I remember only two East Asian staff members in elementary school. And though we only saw each other in passing or exchanged a few words, I felt more comfortable around them simply because they looked a little bit more like me. Looking back now, I think about the unique wisdom and confidence I could have gained had I had an Asian teacher who experiences life a little bit more like I do. And so I say, we need you. I'm a second generation Cambodian immigrant. Uh, I'm a senior now and I have been in HGPSS my entire life. I remember not feeling represented. I never learned about people like me. I was never taught by people who I could connect with being another Asian American. I have had two Asian American teachers that I can remember, one of whom is in this video. I can't imagine how many other students there are out there that don't feel represented in their education and don't have a teacher that they can connect with. And that is why I also say, we need you. Assistant Principal at Tridelphia Ridge. Um, so why become an educator? Uh, I was a student in HCPSS schools since kindergarten. So throughout my 13 years, I did not have one teacher that looked like me. I did not have one Asian educator. 
My parents advised me against becoming a teacher because although it's a respectable profession in Korea, um, it's not the most lucrative profession here, and they felt I was capable of more. Um, once becoming a teacher, I recognized the impact I could have on a whole classroom of students, and really the amazing thing about teaching is you never know how long that impact will last. I'm Dan Han. I currently teach third grade at Fulton Elementary School, and I'm a teacher because it fills my soul with joy. It's so corny when I say it out loud, but it's true. It makes me really happy. Like when, you know, when a kid in math gets it, right? When they get that light bulb moment, when their face lights up with understanding, you know, when a, when a child who is overcoming challenges accomplishes something that they never thought they could accomplish, and they do it on their own. You get to share in that that joy with that particular student and their family. Um, you know, when you have those those moments where you look back on it months down the road, and you and your class can laugh about something that happened. Those little inside jokes that happen all throughout the year. Just watching the kids grow, both academically and as human beings, um, it just it, it makes my heart soar. Now, I grew up in the '90s, and I grew up in South Carolina. That's where I went to elementary school. And when I first brought my lunch into the cafeteria and opened it up, I still remember all the faces around me with quizzical looks, some just outright holding their nose and ridiculing what I had brought, you know, this little tin of my culture, heritage, my family, and my background. And it was, it was absolutely rejected by everyone at my table, and I felt ashamed. So I'm standing um, in the cafeteria. I just dropped off my class. And the kids were opening up their, their lunch boxes. I'm waiting for a lunch bunch group to meet me at the, the front uh, double doors. And I overhear a child exclaim, oh my goodness, what's that? And it wasn't hostile outright. It was very excited. And then a child who overheard <laughs> the student ask that question said, oh, be careful. Our, you know, we, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't ask questions that way. That's not very nice. And then the student who asked the question said, no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I'm so sorry. I asked the question because you know, that's so cool. I want to learn more about it. And then I watched all three of the kids while I was waiting for my lunch bunch group to come together. I watched those three kids have a conversation about what they brought to lunch and share their background, their family, and their identity with one another. And I had to take a second to pick my job off of the floor. I was, I was stunned. And what what made me choose Howard County was that moment right there. Something was happening in this county and it was something good. Howard County was on the right track. And I'm happy to say that ever since I started working, it's my fourth year now, I'm, I'm so happy to say that what I saw as an intern is not an isolated incident. That isn't to say that Howard County is perfect. You know, we still have a lot of work left to do, but I am proud to be part of a county that is committed to doing that work, to, being a part of creating a culture that lifts all student voices up, that lifts up our communities, identities, just every part of a student. And I think that it's so important because I look back on, on the kind of experience I had growing up and I look at what we have now and I know Howard County is on the right track. And that, that is why I am very proud to be part of our system. Hi, my name is Stacy Rubin. I am a teacher here in the Howard County Public School System. I went into education for the reason I think most people go into teaching, and that is to work with children. Um, I also went into it because when I was growing up, I lived in a very small rural area of Pennsylvania, and I didn't see anyone, I didn't have any teachers who were Asian American, and I didn't see myself or what I felt like was myself, you know, re reflected in the types of educators that worked with me. And that really deeply affected my, the perception that I had of myself and um, the, I guess the kind of professional that I thought I could be someday. And so I knew from a young age that I wanted to serve in a capacity that others could look at me as a role model for what they could be when they grew up.